My name is Ivlaw Lloyd Griffith. I have the pleasure of serving as Provost and Senior Vice President at York College, part of the City University of New York. Um, if you became president, what would your ideal vision for Fort Valley State University's future be? Well, right to be president, I think it's important that the vision for Fort Valley be a shared vision. And so my inclination is not to come with a vision for Fort Valley, but to come with ideas that would be part of that vision and get the Fort Valley community to identify, associate with, and develop a vision. I think part of the value of that is for implementation of the vision, it's much better to have buy-in about executing if there was input on the designing. And so I would make an approach to have the university community, students, faculty, staff, alum, broader social political community, be part of the whole project of visioning. Why do you believe you're the best candidate for Fort Valley State University? I think I'm the best candidate for Fort Valley because of three reasons. One, there's a goodness of fit between my experiences and competencies and the challenges that Fort Valley has now. Those challenges revolve around managing budgets adequately, ensuring that there is innovation in degree programs and allied programs, and creating some new excitement that would meet challenges of retention, challenges of graduation. And so I think for the reason of what Fort Valley has as challenges, what my skill sets are all about, I think there's a goodness of fit between us. How will you work with faculty to improve the academic environment for Fort Valley State University students? My inclination is to see the work of the, fa of the, vac of the faculty as needing to happen at the front end. And by front end, I mean the recruitment of the students. Uh, the challenge of recruitment at Fort Valley is matched by a challenge of retention. And so for me, it's important that faculty be part of the, if not recruitment, but appreciation of the importance of recruitment. And given what we know as the limitations of the high schools from which most students come, the necessity for mentoring, the necessity for advising is going to be there. And so if you get faculty buy-in on that embrace before students come, the necessity for them to execute that embrace, advising and mentoring, is much better. But as president, I think it's also important for me to include faculty in the decision about the running of the institution. Running insofar as budget decisions are, are made, running insofar as programmatic redesign, what new international, what new local degree programs we might embrace, decisions about how much online might we go, how, my, how much hybrid might we embrace. I think Inclusion, for me, is an important value, both on faculty and on staff. So that, that'll be my approach. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Delighted to be here.